Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what stuff has been useful to me during the duration of my pregnancy. These things are probably the things that I cannot go without. I think I use them almost every day or when I'm going out. You know, it's just something that I need. So I thought I'd just share it with you. First and foremost, it will be my pregnancy apps. I currently use three. I used to have more, I used to have like six, but I figured some were more useful than the rest and some of them were just like graphics and it didn't really interest me. Like I want to know stuff, like I want to read things and something that will tell me more about what's happening to my body and like what's happening to my child. So the one that I really like is called What to Expect. It says that I'm in my second trimester, I'm week 16, day 3, my baby is the size of an avocado which is 12 cm long and they have like tips like for dads, they have like articles for you to read about your baby and stuff so I really find it useful and it changes every day. So I like just checking in, in the morning when I wake up and just read a little bit more about what's happening. And the other two is called Baby Center and The Bump. All three of them pretty much tells you the same thing, just maybe in another way. But I like that one just now the most. So if you're interested, I will probably put um, the names of the apps down below. I don't know if it's available for Android, but for iPhone definitely. I've been really liking my oils and butter for my belly. Not say I'm like overly concerned about not getting stretch marks, but if I can and if I have the means to prevent it, I want to. So ever since I found out I was pregnant, I sent my hubby to the store to get this for me. It is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil with Vitamin E. And as you can see, I'm like down to probably my last use. I've already got a backup of this. They come in a bigger size, but I think that's too big. This lasted me about 4 months and it's been pretty good. I put this on first and then I put this one on. This one is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Tummy Butter for Stretch Marks with Vitamin E, Collagen, Elasting and Soothing Lavender. It's an intensive treatment. Paraben and Phthalate, is that how you pronounce it? Phthalate free. So I put the oil first on my belly. I put it on liberally like all over sometimes up to my buttocks and my thighs as well because you can get stretch marks there too and then I put this over this as you can see it's like a solid it looks like butter that comes out from the fridge and this one a little bit goes a long way I've been using it for four months and I think I've only used up like maybe a third of it it's pretty hard once you dig into it and you spread it on your body your body heat will actually melt it and it absorbs into the skin really quickly so that's what I like about it it doesn't feel sticky or oily after that I can't stand that kind of feeling so I really like this too I would highly recommend it and it's not too expensive either both is less probably less than $20 if I'm not wrong and what else Oh, I have to have this in my bag. If you are Asian, you probably know what's this. This is um, medicated oil. This one specifically is the X oil brand. And I cannot go out of the house without this. Because right now, I cannot stand the smell of perfume or any sweet smelling thing. So when I go out, and you know there's always that one person who puts on too much perfume and it literally just shoots up your brain and now that my sense of smell is heightened it's worse for me so I kind of use this to mask the smell of the perfume I'll just dab a little bit on my nose and the smell actually helps and whenever I feel nauseous or like um, dizzy in a moving vehicle I'll 
smell this as well and it helps to like tone it like tone the nausea and dizziness down a little bit and if anyone has like body odor <laughs> like you know when you take public transport there are some people who have very bad hygiene and they don't shower and they just smell really bad I use this to mask it as well I know I'm pretty mean but you know I gotta do things to stop me from gagging so yeah I cannot go out of the house without this what else I cannot go out of the house without this either these are the fruit sherbets by Mark and Spencer they are hard candy and they're pretty big so it will take a long time for you to actually suck it and finish it and it's pretty sour it has like a sherbet filling inside so when you get to the center there's like a little soft of it so that's nice this actually helped me a lot when i was nauseous during my first trimester i'm not so nauseous in my second trimester now but in the first trimester it was pretty bad i had to have these when i go out if not i had to buy a whole new pack if you're a muslim you might want to check marks and spencer products first before buying them because some of them have gelatin in them so I actually got lucky and these ones does not have gelatin in the ingredients so that's pretty good I would highly recommend this and for those of you who's got like low blood sugar I suggest you keep one of this in your bag or something like this sort like a protein bar or a granola bar if you want the healthier option go for like um, those healthy snacks I guess just keep something in your bag because when you're pregnant and you don't have enough energy your level just goes from like 0 to 180 so until you get to a place for you to actually sit down and have a meal or get like a sweet drink I suggest you carry this in your bag so you can actually eat while going to that restaurant or something or finding a place to sit and these ones have um two of the Snickers bars inside it's like one here and one here so they're not too big they're a pretty good size I used to buy the usual ones and I just like break them apart and pop a little bite into my mouth whenever I feel like no, I'm gonna pass out from hunger but my husband found these ones and I think they're a pretty good size they're just tiny like two tiny Snickers in a big packet and I just carry an extra um, Ziploc so that I can keep the balance in them when I'm done so I highly recommend keeping something in your bag for you for you know, to tide you over until you find some place to sit these are things that I cannot go without in my wardrobe these are called the belly belt they actually help you wear your pants that you've been wearing before you got pregnant a little bit longer into your pregnancy so you don't have to buy like maternity pants so I've been using these and they work just fine like I can still fit into my pants it's just that the waistline obviously cannot um, buckle or button anymore so I got these ones and they come with three sizes this is the smallest one so you attach one side of your pants here and the button side to this hole here so it extends the waistline of your pants and it's rubber so it's stretchable this is the smallest one and this is actually the biggest size and each like um, strap has three sizes so you can actually wear them throughout your pregnancy if you don't grow that much because I don't know about you guys but I wear my pants under my belly now so it doesn't have to go around the belly it just has to sit under it and these things help to actually hold your pants up and besides that I love these things as well it looks like a tube top but let me see what it's called it's the Ingrid and Isabel Bella Band and I got the one in size 2 so that I can wear it throughout my pregnancy till I'm like 40 weeks so it's pretty um, it doesn't fit me snugly now it fits but it's not like snugged so I'm pretty sure I'll expand and it will fit snugly eventually 
so I wear these on my pants underneath and then I wear these on top to like just help hold my pants out and cover the gap that this made in my pants because obviously there'll be a gap like in between this and this because it just extends the waistline so this one's cover that, that gap and there's a little rubber thing on the bottom part I don't know if you can see this rubber thing actually helps hold your pants out so this one goes below and the one without the rubber is actually on top so you just step through it like that but for now my belly isn't so big I just fold it over halfway after I've put it on and it actually helps like hold your tummy in as well and support it so your back doesn't hurt so much I don't know if there'll be anything else that I would find useful throughout my pregnancy as I go along but if I do I'll probably uh, make another video of this I'll probably just put this as part one and if there's anything else I'll just you know make part two or part three because I haven't found anything else that I want to share with you guys that I think is useful so yeah I hope this video kind of helped moms to be out there and if you found this helpful please give me a thumbs up if you like it like it if you love it sub it and I'll see you in my next video bye thanks for watching so that's good so it means that you can layer other liquid or cream products on